So, looking towards the next season, I've seen some people talk about potential MVP candidates for next year. Dame is going to be one. Curry's probably going to be one. Maybe KD. But the person that's probably going to be the front runner is none other than Luka Doncic. In the span of two years, we're already at this point with him. Never in my days will I imagine him to be this good coming from Europe. Just like a lot of people, I was up in the air on Luka Doncic when the draft came around. And that was mainly due to the hit or miss ratio of European players I've seen come through this league. It's seeing people hype him up as the next big thing, Luka Mania. I've looked at the previous overseas players that didn't work out, and I thought, what makes this guy different? Well, I guess we got that answer in the span of two years. Any doubts you had about Luka, look, they should have been out the window since his rookie year. We talk about who's going to take over when LeBron finally turns human or retires. I think Luka should definitely be in that conversation, because seeing the stuff he's doing in only his second year is wild. And with the Mavericks being a well-ran organization, I do expect him to put great pieces around him and Porzingis. And also, the Mavericks have like some type of four-leaf clover type of luck. Mark Cuban must have a grimoire in his office or something. As soon as the Dirk era ends, he tanks at the right time and gets another European superstar? If that ain't luck of the draw, I don't know what is. But yeah, the Mavericks and Luka have a very bright future ahead of them, and for what we've seen, this duo looks capable of being good enough to win a championship. I remember the day when the Knicks decided to trade Porzingis to Dallas, and instantly I thought that this would be a good fit for Luka, because Luka in his rookie year has shown that he was already a great pick and roll guy, so when you give him another star that happens to be a 7-3 unicorn who bread and butter is picking pops and shooting, you get what you got last season. This past season, they ended up having the best best offensive rating of all time. I repeat, all time. Guys, think of all the great offensive teams we've seen in the NBA. That's pretty damn impressive. And kudos to Rick Carlisle because the offense that he's created for Luka and Porzingis is pretty amazing. Their offense to me is kind of like a well-modified version of what the Rockets ran. Luka has the ball in his hands a lot just like James Harden, but the big difference is there's a lot of movement going on. When Harden has the ball in Houston, a majority of the time the other players just stand there spaced out at the three-point line. Yeah, it works in a regular season and maybe gets you past the first round, but as we've seen, great defensive teams in later rounds can key in on that. And of course, with the whole extreme three-point mentality, it can shoot them in or out of games. And with the Mavericks, I think they kind of have like the perfect solution. For one, they're allowed to shoot mid-ranges, then to create off-ball movements while Luka has the ball to really keep the defense honest. And you kind of get the sense that with former Mavericks assistant Steven Silas being the coach, we should expect the Rockets to run that type of offense with James Harden. But yeah, this Mavericks offense around Luka and Porzingis could be crazy for years to come. And ultimately, if the two continue to stay on the path they're heading, I wouldn't be surprised that in the near future they bring a championship to Dallas. With how predictable the NBA is nowadays. Hell, why can't the Mavericks win a championship in the near future? As far as next year go, I would say no for now because they need to somehow be better on defense. With all the firepower in the Western Conference, I need to see them be better defensively. But now, if they're able to get a third star, I think that would make things more interesting. There's been little rumblings that they might be interested in getting the third star, and maybe that's what takes them to that next level. You look at a guy like a Drew Holiday, who's basically on a rebuilding team, maybe the Mavericks try to acquire him to really get some more ball handling and defense. Then there's obviously the long shot possibility of getting Giannis. Uh, trust me, I know, a lot of people have already been starting this Giannis to Dallas movement. But look, they truly are the Dark Horse favorites to potentially get Giannis if he leaves. Good coach? Check. Two fellow superstars you could play with? Check. Hey, matter of fact, looking at this 2021 free agent class, there's a lot of talent. Kyle Lowry, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, the list goes on. Maybe one of them decides to join Luka in Dallas as well. Time will tell, but the Dallas Mavericks are definitely on the right path. But for all the NBA fans out there, what's your overall thoughts on the Mavericks moving forward? Do you see the possibility of them winning a championship within these next few years? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you're new, don't forget to like and sub to teams to help the channel grow. One more thing, for all the 18 and up jits out there, make sure y'all vote. But until next time, as they always say in Japan, Jamatane. Peace.